Grace and peace to you. Yesterday in worship, we kicked off this year's stewardship drive, uh, which we're calling Grace Happens, as we pay attention to the ways uh, that we experience God's uh, givingness in our lives. We believe that grace uh, happens daily in our lives, minute by minute even. And so we're focusing this year on the ways that we experience that grace uh, in our lives, the ways we experience what God has given us, uh, and then thinking some about how are we called to respond to that. Uh, and so over the next uh, month or so, I'll probably talk about uh, stewardship theology and money to some extent. Um, and part of that is because I believe that uh, the way that we interact with wealth and the way we use our money uh, is an integral part of our call as Christian disciples. And if you don't believe me, uh, you can ask Jesus, who talks about money all the time, especially here in Luke's Gospel that we've been going through this year. You've probably noticed Jesus is talking about money all the time. Uh, in fact, uh, the most, the thing that Jesus talks about most in the Bible is the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven. Second to that is money. Jesus talks second most uh, about wealth and money and how it is that we're supposed to uh, engage those things. And primarily his call is to give it all away, uh, which is a, a lucrative idea for us here in 2019 uh, America. But Jesus's call is a call of unified uh, discipleship and of, of um, complete commitment to uh, the call of Christ. Uh, and he talks at length about how money is uh, perhaps the biggest stumbling block to that, that our difficulty when we try to both serve God but also serve money or also uh, keep our money. And so it creates a difficult conversation about how uh, can we be financially responsible for our lives and for the lives of our family and, and whatever other needs that we have, right? That giving away uh, literally everything I have would be a pretty extreme thing. Um, and it would have some pretty big implications, not only on me, but on my two young children, right? And so we do uh, wonder how it is that we can do this. And yet I think um, the, the bottom line of the call is to uh, not let money become uh, a greater concern to us than God's kingdom. Um, there's a reason why even more than money, Jesus talks of the kingdom, and that is because our focus, our number one thing that we're always thinking about is how is it that we are engaging in the work that God is doing uh, to bring about uh, a world that looks more like the order that God has intended for it. But how we engage with money is certainly a big part of how we live out that call. And so uh, how is it that we can use our money, um, be stewards of our, our money, be stewards of our wealth, um, to not hoard it, not uh, build it up for ourselves, uh, but to consider it one of the many gifts that God has given us, not something that we have earned through our labor or earned through our years of uh, uh, education or work or whatever is taken to get it, but to think of it instead as a gift from God, gift from God specifically uh, to do the work of uh, building God's kingdom. And so uh, I think that does include a, an amount of caring for ourselves and caring for our families, uh, but somewhere there's a line where caring for ourselves becomes excessive uh, and becomes a higher priority than caring for others and caring for God's kingdom. And that uh, is where, where we run into trouble. And so how is it that we can properly think about our relationship with money and God's ministry uh, and, and appropriately use our uh, God-given resources for the betterment of uh, not just ourselves, but the betterment of uh, our neighbor? our neighbor in need, our community, the community in which we live, the community in which uh, the church is serving, uh, and through that, uh, the whole world. And so that's the conversation that I'm hoping we can have over the next month or so, and we'll do that in worship and in Sunday school, uh, and also probably here in some of these videos. So a little food for thought this morning, uh, and, and uh, hopefully uh, you're still willing to stick around as we talk about this more in the coming weeks. Uh, remember that you are loved. And God's peace be with you.